Hi, I'm John Martin. I'm a coach here at Rally Software. Today I'm going to talk about story points. A little while back, Jean Tabeka did a great chalk talk on sizing and estimation, and in it she mentioned story points, and I wanted to dive down a little farther into story points about why they're exciting and where they come from as a good model for using for sizing stories. Uh, we tend to talk about stories and sizing them in points and tasks and estimating them in hours. And I get a lot of questions about what the heck is a point and what are we trying to use it for, what does it do for me. So there are several things that points do because they're abstract as opposed to really concrete like an hour is. One of the things that's nice about points is it helps us remember that small differences are never as important as we think they might be. In addition, that kind of relates to the idea that software is not just a factory stamping out stories, right? I don't think any two stories will ever result in exactly the same kind of work from a team. And what's important is not whether or not a story is just a little bit different. What's important is whether two stories are wildly different in size so that we can figure out how to put them together in collections and estimate our time over, over long periods of time. Um, so relative sizing and similarity is more important than small differences. For example, if you were making a fruit salad, right, and you knew that you needed five apples for the fruit salad, what's important is not how big the apples are, it's how big they are related to other fruits, especially if I get to a situation where I go in the grocery store and the apples are too expensive or the apples just aren't in season for some reason, so I can replace it with something else. I know that about five pears is about the same as five apples. Uh, maybe 20 strawberries is about the same when I cut them up. So the relative size is more important than the individual size. Story points also help us with realizing that we're thinking about mid-range and long-range planning. We're not thinking about what's going to happen this afternoon. We're thinking about things a little farther down the horizon. And so there's a little bit of uncertainty about what's going to happen between now and whenever the story gets implemented. We don't know even if the story will be implemented at a certain particular time. What we're looking at is uh, there could be a range of time where we learn new things, new technologies come out, or even sometimes, I know it's shocking, the customer decides he wants something different. So reminding us that there's some uncertainty there and that there's a difference is important, especially when uh, we're talking about things that don't need to be exactly the same size. Again, with fruit, if I think of an orange and I know that I need an orange for my snack today, that orange is going to be a different size in the summer than it is in the winter, right? So it's important to me that I'm getting one orange. It's not important to me that I get 8.52 centimeters of orange. In fact, I'm almost certainly setting myself up for failure if that's what I write down on my grocery list. Another thing that points do for us that I think is nice but we don't talk about too much is that points prevent this premature commitment and gaming that outside forces do to our team sometimes, right? I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but sometimes I've had it happen where a project manager or someone will come up to me and say, hey John, how long is this thing going to take? And he plays with you a while while you try not to make the, the estimate because you know he's going to use it. And then he takes it and says, I'm not going to do anything with it. And you say, okay, it's going to take a day. Just so you understand how long that is, that's the size of it. Well, he's heard day. He walks off, puts it in his Gantt chart, and before you know it, he's back on Wednesday wanting to know why it's not done. It's only a day, right? So points help us keep abstract and away from that problem set because points are only important within the context of a container like an iteration. They are an individual point doesn't mean a whole lot. It's the collection of points when we talk about them in a time box. So that's where points are really exciting to me. I think the important thing about points is they remind us that by abstracting away from really concrete uh, problems, we are keeping ourselves from getting down into the nitty-gritty and wasting time and resources on things that aren't that important. Thank you.